Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I am pretty sure that we all know the definition of uh, hypocrisy, correct? So hypocrisy is when you hold someone to a standard that you don't hold yourself to. So that is, um, I impose uh, on everybody a rule that I don't follow. That would make me definitely a hypocrite. And uh, obviously we more or less in our lives probably were involved in this uh, little uh, sin until we learned the lesson. But in major and situations, I don't think we, uh, uh, we can, uh, how should I put it, avoid noticing our hypocrisy. Therefore, you know, in important stuff, you immediately see hypocrisy, I would say. It's too obvious. Now, what do we have here? We have here Vladimir Putin. Uh, and we have the Western operatives. That's the way I call the system operatives. Those are the so-called Western media, the legacy media, the uh, corporate media, however you want to call them. For me, they're operatives because I think they work for the system in order to baboonish us. And this media is telling us that Putin is not interested currently in uh, Western media interviews. And if you've been around the block at least halfway, you realize that this article, this title, is meant to discredit Putin and show you that he likes to talk only with his media, with the state-owned media, which obviously is idiotic and that uh, is a uh, hypocritical statement. I will show you why. So remember, Putin is not currently interested in Western media interviews, Kremlin says. But question. Are the American presidents interested in Russian media interviews? Or North Korean or Chinese interviews? Have you ever seen an interview of a US president with a Russian media? Ever? Not right now in the past, I don't know, three years, we are at war. Let's say 15 years ago, 10 years ago, seven years ago. I guarantee you there was never an interview by Russia Today with a sitting US president. I guarantee you that. Why is that? They barely have interviews with German or with BBC, which I don't remember having. Why is it only when you, you need to have with the American media or with BBC half owned by the state, by the government, right? Why only then you are considered a I tell you why, because if you are a person of good standing and you are true to your uh, ideology or your logic, your values, you're not afraid to express them to anyone. Therefore, you're going to sit down with the guys from, I don't know, France 22 or something like this. I will sit down with BBC, with whomever comes from CNN, with Sputnik, with Al Jazeera, with everybody, because I'm not afraid. But when you are isolated, you insulate yourself because you can't face questions, then you are not interviewed by only by your operatives. No US sitting president, I think, was ever uh, interviewed by a Russian media outlet. Go on YouTube, I super dare you. But they called Putin that he did not. Well, let me tell you Putin. Putin, I know, I watched many interviews of Putin and I didn't watch interviews coming from um, uh, some interviews with Sputnik or with, no, 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 interviewed, uh, for instance, he was interviewed by English media, by Austrian media, by German media, by American media, by Russian media. Well, tell me the other guys, tell me the other guys, tell me, let's say, Obama. If you want, let's take this guy right now that is in office. Was he ever interviewed? interview. Now let's talk about questions. So interviews, you say, well, we're not going to talk because if you ask Biden a normal question, he will be like lost in space or Kamala or whomever. Why is it so? Um, when uh, these presidents participate to summits or they go to the, Europe, uh, to the um, United Nations, some of them are asked questions by the media. Putin was asked questions. Go on YouTube, you find them. He's going to answer questions coming from rude, rude operatives. But he's answering, he's opening himself to questions from BBC, from CNN, from whomever. They open the questions to the Western media. Remember, and Western media is 
always attacking in a rude way. I mean, you can be rude, but, but at least, you know, uh, uh, agree. Yeah, I've been rude. I have to ask, they call it tough questions. Ask the same questions to these guys here. They will never ask this kind of questions unless it's Trump. And then they ask those kinds of questions. So it's a double standard, the operatives. That's how you see it. Now, even when these presidents, let me tell, let, uh, tell me when you saw, let's say, uh, a US sitting president going to the United Nations, let's say Biden, or let's say Obama, and he was asked questions by Russia today. Was Russia today or Sputnik allowed to ask a question to Obama? And then why not? Not even ask questions when the reporters ask questions. N not even that. So put aside the interviews. Why? Because you're afraid and you don't want to legitimize the rest of the world. Tell me when these guys were interviewed by a Chinese media. But somehow the other, everybody else should, um, how do you call it, uh, be scrutinized by our media, which is, you know, how our media, our media. English speaking media and not only. Let me show you something else. Remember this guy right here? Yeah, his name is uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, the former president of Iran. Very smart. He had interviews with everybody. Everybody. He was asked in a rude way, in an ugly way, in a disrespectful way, and so on. This is obviously the weasel Pierce Morgan. 60 minutes, then he got. Many, uh, many, many others talk uh, with, uh, what's his name, uh, interviews. You go over here and see CNN, ABC, uh, many CBS news. All these guys interviewed, interviewed this guy right here. These weasels right here. And he always smacked the guys. Even this guy spoke with, uh, with uh, Western media. But somehow our presidents do not speak with anybody else but our media, which is give them just, you know, like in volleyball ball up so you can not even smacking these are like like that so when you hear uh, Reuters telling us that he's not interested we are supposed to say ah see they don't want to be asked tough questions tell me the last time an American sitting president was asked or let's say a British prime minister appointed prime minister remember Starmer the current prime minister of Great Britain is over there because his party won 18 won 8 percent or 19% of the votes of the guys who voted. So this is 100% of the electorate. Probably 60% voted, let's say 60. I, I don't think it's more than 60. From the 60 that from 100%, that's 60. You make this 100%, 18% voted for him. So out of the 100, that 18 turns into about 11. So Starmer is the president, is the prime, appointed prime minister because his government his government, his party won about 11%, 11% or 12% of the whole electorate, not the minors, uh, don't include the people that cannot vote, only the electorate. So he is the, the prime minister appointed by a group that has a approval rating of about 12%. Now, is that democracy? I thought the people rule. I thought the majority rules. And then he is the appointed prime minister because he didn't go over there and say, I'm going to be the prime minister, you just vote for me. It wasn't like that. The party said, this is the guy in case we win. Probably is going to be this guy. Now you can say, well, that's the, the system. That's a fucked up system. You don't tell me, you know, that's um, historical fallacy. When you say, we've always been doing like this. Well, you've always been idiots and it's, you've been wrong all the time. You've been unfair all the time. Remember, um, Great Britain has a winner, winner takes it all, which I, again, I think it's imbecilic because if you win more, let's say you win 12, 18% in each and every uh, lo locality, 18%, you're going to be the ruler of those guys if you win everywhere with 18. But you have only 18, 18, 18, 18, and 18 from each locality. You don't have a majority. And you're going to win because you take everything. Because you won everything. Everybody had 17, 16, 12, 2, 5, 6, blah, blah, blah. Nobody had over 18. So you're going to be ruling with a, about 18% of the population. Is that democracy? Is that democracy? That's imbecility. That's imbecile. That's a minority of a minority. So anyway, you show me 
um, when these guys were in, get Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping spoke with the Western, the communist. Our leaders do not speak with anybody else but their media. Why? That's the same operation. It's like the, uh, let's say, uh, NFL, National Football League. They are world champions. How many countries play? play? Three, four, five. We're world champions like that. Uh, was that a, um, an athlete, an American athlete? athlete, runner, whatever, track and field, I think he was a guy. He said, what do you mean these guys from uh, basketball or whatever, NFL, you are world champions in what? World, world champions of what? And he was right. I made this point a few times in my videos. What do you mean? Baseball. <laughs> you put five countries. You're not the world. Like UFC, UFC, you are the world champion. No, you're the world champion in your little organization. There's many others. You don't know if you're going to get knocked out by someone from a different organization just like this. You don't know. But you're the world champion. No, you're not the world champion. You're the UFC world champion. And how many are in, over there? A few countries. Uh, Brazil has two clubs. Uh, Russians cannot even go. They have a Khabib and uh, about it. Maybe they let, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Pokov, Praskov, Poskov right now. He's going to fight in the near future. Uh, who? I mean, they got a few here, a few there. It's where? Where? But they are the world champions. Anyway, so uh, tell me when our presidents uh, are going to be interviewed by the Russians. And remember, Sput after the interview that Putin conducted with, uh, or what's his name, uh, Tucker conducted with Putin, everybody was saying, oh, he doesn't talk to the Western media. First, let your imbeciles talk with everybody else and then we talk. And Russia Today or uh, Russia Today extended and Sputnik uh, an invitation, um, official invitation to uh, President Biden to be interviewed. Do you think? And to uh, Zelensky. And do you think they accepted? No. Why not? That's called uh, hypocrisy. When I try to ho hold you, uphold you, to a, keep you to a standard, but I don't even dare to touch the standard. So, you know, beat it. Thank you very much. <laughs> including, including Fidel Castro. Go and watch Fidel Castro interviewed by, West, by Western media. And th these guys don't even... And those guys are bad dudes. They're the tyrants. But our in the free media, we don't talk with those guys. I think they're afraid because they don't have anything here. And if they would be asked real questions that I would ask or you would ask, they would be like, Ugh. they would be imbeciles. Because basically that's what they are. How do they win? They promise. You. To them. Thank you very much for being with me again today and your children and what everything you have. Basically, this is what they do. They promise your resources, your energy, your efforts to some interest that will support them. That's what they do. The more they offer your energy, like in a, like a matrix, more of offer your energy to them, everybody, including their moms, wives, whatever, have uh, husbands, then uh, they have a chance. And if they're appealing to the baboons, that's right there, the winning ticket. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.